Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create YouTube ad sequence campaigns through the Google dashboard. So we're going to talk about what is ad sequencing and why you should use them and when to use them properly for your offer. So YouTube video ad sequencing is simply put a different type of format where it allows you to create a series of videos to show people your ads in a specific order. The way that this works is through different settings within the Google Ads dashboard, which we're going to dive in in this tutorial that I'm about to show you. Now, what is the advantage of YouTube ad sequencing? So the advantage of YouTube ad sequencing is that you can have different storyline in different angle shown in a variety of videos. If you have a specific brand, let's say they, you sell um, a website builder, right? So let's take Wix, for example. They've done ad sequencing pretty well. In the ad sequencing for Wix, you'll see an example where they show the features, right? And how easy it is to, let's say, build a website. And then another feature basically talks about how one person in particular was able to build out a, a website and showing a final result. It could be a mixture of, you know, showing you the, the progress, acquiring the trial for Wix, you know, signing up and then being able to explain how that resulted into final product, right? So how that person was able to accomplish what they wanted to do with building out their website. So you can do storytelling with ad sequencing is, is what I'm getting at. And there's different angles. You know, you can present a solution from different angles, uh, also emphasize a single theme. There are many examples, but some of the main benefits is that you can connect with your target audience by telling the story, okay? You also have much more control of if you wanna show your brand awareness video, for example, uh, to your target audience in a specific order, you know, they have to watch video ad one in order for them to actually watch video ad two. So you wanna show them, let's say a presentation, an introduction to your brand, your product, your offer in video one. And then in the second one, you wanna show them testimonials, but you wanna show them specific testimonials. Remember, very important, this video ad sequence campaign is not built for conversions, right? So we've tested this out in multiple occasions and we have gotten some conversions, but this is not using the drive conversion subtype. So it's not built for that. It's built really for, you know, product or brand consideration and, and brand awareness, but the ad recall is quite high and it is a strategy that if you have the budget for it, so we strongly recommend it. So that way you can ensure that you're reaching people and you're connecting with these users at a very high level. One of the conditions though, is that you do need a variety of, of creative. Okay, you can't just rely on one or two. Um, the ideal thing is that for you to have, you know, multiple creatives completed, right? So you can display them on a, on a different scale and let's say give them variety, right? So that is one of the recommendations for, for this. So we're gonna build a, a campaign here just to show you how this works. And then from there, give you some recommendations regarding how to use storytelling, you know, within your ad sequencing. So let, let's dive in to the dashboard here. Okay, so we're gonna dive right into my screen and we're gonna take you from the campaign objective selection to creating this ad sequence campaign example, all right? So here you obviously have the different options. This is very familiar to you guys. Now for ad sequencing, you can do one or two options. You can do product and brand consideration or create a campaign without a goals guidance. In this case, we're gonna go with product and brand consideration. Okay, so something to mention very quickly before we continue with the video is that here at Lynx Digital, we are video advertising experts. And if you have an offer that you feel that you can scale with YouTube ads, or you'd like us to review and audit to see if we can scale it, then feel free to click the link below. We have been responsible for helping multiple entrepreneurs and businesses scale their businesses past six, seven, sometimes even eight figures with YouTube ads. Now, if you're also a do-it-yourself type of entrepreneur and would like to learn about YouTube ads more in depth and actually have experts side by side with weekly student calls, uh, you also have access to obviously our modules so you can look at 
all the videos and training material that we have with templates and, and different training docs, then we also have the opportunity for you to join our YouTube ads training program. You can click the link below for either or if you're looking for agency services for us to review your account and see if we're a good fit with each other so we can get to know your business or also to get to know you if you're looking to become one of our students and join our private Facebook YouTube ads group uh, student group as well as get access to all the training material. So the links are in the description. Click the link below and we'll see you on the inside. Now let's get back to the video. Uh, we're gonna go with the ad sequence. You can see we have influence consideration. So this is also you know, another, let's say, format that you can choose. But for the ad sequencing, in order to actually select a series of ads that you wanna show in a specific order, that, that's what we're gonna go for here today. You can see here, you can select the, uh, the ads to be in skippable in-stream, non-skippable in-stream ads, bumper ads, have a combination of these, right? So let's take a look at the next step here. So um, we're obviously gonna rename this, you know, ad sequencing, and then here you would do, uh, do your audience, right? So depending on what the audience is, uh, we have a specific naming convention at our agency, you can obviously choose your own. All right, so the next thing is the bid strategy. So this is very important here because a lot of people don't know this, but when you do maximum cost per view, maximum CPV, you are basically uh, being very specific to the ad that you, you're selecting in the video. So it's not gonna be bidding throughout the entire sequence. So you don't wanna select maximum CPV. You wanna go with target CPM, which is the cost per 1,000 impressions. So basically based on how much you wanna bid for people to watch your video a, a thousand times. You can see here, it'll optimize bids to help you show people your entire video ad sequence. So that is very important. So remember, this is gonna be a CPM campaign. You wanna do daily, Okay, so we're just gonna do an example here. Networks, okay, here you can only do YouTube videos, okay? Because this is just an ad sequence campaign, it's just gonna show up on YouTube. So obviously you go through the different demographics, so you know, whoever your uh, your target audience is, that's this is where you, you would select that, that information as uh, you've done in other video formats. Same thing here, so you just, again, select your who you're trying to target from a segment perspective. Okay, well, before we go to add sequence, you know, here, this is also uh, only available on the ad sequence, right? So here, you can limit how often your sequence can show to the same person, right? So, you know, it says once per seven days, once per 30 days, okay? So here, it states the person won't see the entire sequence more than once within seven days and won't see step a step more than once, okay? And 30 days is basically the difference. Same thing, it's just gonna be different. So we wanna go with seven days, right? I think 30 days is a little too much. Obviously you can mess with the ad scheduling a bit and uh, here we go. So we're gonna skip through this third party measurement. The templates. So you can either do a custom sequence template, an automatic sequence, okay? Which are, you know, you have to do at least two videos and these are other templates that also are uh, recommended to look into, right? Depending on what you wanna accomplish. So you can see introduce and reinforce. So here Google states, introduce your brand with a long video ad, okay? Then reinforce your message with a short video ad. Okay, so that this is, and it gives you a little bit of instruction here. It says 30 seconds or more, follow the short video of less than 30 seconds. So it's really up to you how you wanna go about this. Uh, there's also prompt and inspire. There's attract and direct. Okay, short, use a short video followed by a long video ad. So let's go with this one for now. And now we go into the short video, right? So this is the first video we're gonna add. We're just gonna add an example. Here's where, where you really wanna think about, you know, what is the type of message that you wanna uh, present to your target audience. Let's say if you're uh, using this for the first time, you wanna reach out a specific audience for the first time, you know, you wanna maybe introduce the business, right? So if you have like a, a video where it basically talks about the the offer itself, right? So we chose a video and let's say this video, it, it introduces your brand, right? So again, there are different strategies that you can go about with this uh, ad sequencing. And, you know, in reality, there's really no wrong answer, but there, there is intentionality behind 
the, each video, right? And depending on the niche too, right? If you are a software and you have a video where you're introducing this, this SaaS, right? Where you're just basically showing people how to sign up, you know, what the features are, the benefits of using said service uh, or software, uh, that could be an introductory video, very quick, short video on showing just the basics, right? And, and really appealing to people like, hey, you know, with this video, you're going to be able to, let's say, edit videos faster. If you're not a video editor, right? You can, you know, you can draw uh, cartoons or add this to your video and you can still do a, a call to action, right? But primarily just to kind of introducing your brand to people. And, and then obviously here you want to select skippable in-stream. All right. Uh, you can even do the non-skippable in-stream, but it has to be 15 seconds. So notice this one is a minute long. So this is probably not the best idea, but you want to have the video have, be at least 30 seconds long for skippable, right? Between, yeah, so it's here recommended use, use a bumper ad six seconds or skippable in-stream. Okay, so if this was six seconds, uh, this would be enabled here and I would be able to do a, a quick bumper ad, but typically those bumper ads are just, you know, they're used by bigger brands and to try and uh, let's say engage people and show like product placement, things like that. I would use more of a 30 second, less than a 30 second ad. It's a skippable industry ad or, you know, do a 15 seconds. Hey, if you can squeeze in your introductory video in 15 seconds, more power to you. But in this particular case, I would do a 30 second video and uh, and then, we're, you know, we're going to see the other video. And the good thing is you can still add the call to action here, right? So again, we're just going to do an example so you can add the call to action here and and move on to the next video so again this is just for example purposes you see right a, a catchy headline and we're going to set the bid right so here it gives you uh, some ideas okay some recommendations so they're stating that your cost per thousand impressions or target cpm should be six dollars higher in this case so it'll be different for for most people so here i want to go with let's say seven dollars so i round it up to the the nearest one okay so we're gonna go add to sequence boom we have our step one and step two this will be the longer video okay so it's just following the same steps okay we select the next video and so on so let's just assume this is the, the another video boom you continue to go through here you add to the sequence and at the end of the day you want to have at least three steps okay so this is from based on this template you need at least three steps okay so i'm showing you based on this attract and direct now if you do a custom sequence okay you can select multiple steps and here the custom sequence it, this is a little bit different okay so here it, it even guides you it'll tell you you can use to build interest remind reinforce an earlier ad or to offer a unifying closing message right so in this case, let's say, you know, we want to get people who've had this ad served to them as an impression or people who view this ad. OK, so when they view the ad, it means that they a view counts. Remember, it's more than 30 seconds after they view the ad. So this is very uh, cool because you here you can actually, let's say, trigger different ads according to what actions this user took. Right. So, you know, who, who do you want to make this ad eligible to? So, so maybe you don't want people who skip the ad. So you don't want to choose that. Right. Because these are people that maybe they're just not interested. So I would focus more on the impression and maybe the view a lot more. Right. So people who viewed the ad and then, you know, you continue adding, like I said, the video here. And remember, you have this, these options uh, as well. So that is the the custom sequence part. And you can add multiple steps. It could be four ads, right? I've seen up to four, you know, six ads. I believe you can still add in there, but there are different templates according to uh, the different steps. This is engage and differentiate. So you can see here this one has four steps. OK, so it's steps one to four short video ad less than 30 seconds. So these ones you can do, you know, tell a story maybe show a testimonial at the beginning and and then the following steps you can continue with that storyline right depending on what you're offering of course so so this is how you create this video ad sequence and you know after that you just do create campaign after you you know you selected all your ads and and that's pretty much it there's really no other science to it again you the most important thing is really not what i'm just showing you here uh, of how to create these templates or how to add these videos in here but really your strategy like and think about what are you trying to accomplish remember we're normally talking about direct response type of campaigns with youtube in this particular case this is more of a brand awareness or consideration right in the upper funnel marketing strategy right so here you really want to think about okay if you're going to show a youtube ad let's say for the first time 
to your target audience, right? After you have your customer avatar nice and fleshed out, how do you want to present your brand to these individuals, right? So, you know, most people would argue that you don't want to sell them right away. Hey, you know, go and, and, and buy this. You know, there's different moments for different niches and those decisions would have to be, let's say, just vacillated upon your your strategy, right? So like to, if you have the budget, you know, like uh, other companies like Monday, Wix, you know, they, they, they invest some time and, and budget on creating these ad sequence campaigns because they know that they can show a variety of ads to the same people. And let's say they won't get tired of it, right? If they have decent product or service, you know, and people see that uh, the functionality of, of, of the software, for example, in one ad, and then, you know, after that, the, the following day or even later in the day, they get an ad where it shows like a testimonial of somebody using that particular service then hey, you know, you're increasing your chances, right? Of getting these people to convert. So this can be complimentary and should be complimentary to drive conversion campaigns, right? So again, if the budget's there, your drive conversion campaigns are bringing you the results you need, you know, and you have a warm targeting campaign that is working for you, then go with that. But here you have the opportunity to as well remarket, right? So remember, if we go back to the demographics and audience segments, you know, if you already have a target audience, let's say that's converting well for you, and you, you have good remarketing tags and good audiences that you can remarket to, how powerful do you think it would be if you showed them ads in a specific order, right? So, hey, we noticed you signed up for the webinar, but you didn't get a chance to finish it, for example. If you have that, per, that granularity in your marketing, then you, it can be very powerful to create some of these ad sequencing campaigns for your remarketing audiences, right? So that way you can take them step by step into building up the interest a little bit more. Maybe these people are, you know, they were interested, but they're not as engaged. So there you engage them a little more. Hey, you know, we wanna offer you a seven day free trial to our software, you know, by clicking this, but maybe you wanna make it an, in the ad sequence only, you know, you only target individuals that have already interacted with the brand somehow, right? And, you know, you have that specific landing page and that specific ad, to show them for those specific people, right? That, that cohort of people that interacted with your brand. So ad sequence is very powerful. Like I said, from a drive conversion perspective, don't expect this to, you know, to blow up and give you a ton of conversions, but you, you can get some, but more importantly, you will be able to connect with the users through this particular uh, format, okay? And then from there, you know, remember you can, you're building up your remarketing. So you have the video views from these ads. So you can, from there, you can remarket them, not necessarily with the ad sequencing, but with direct response with drive conversion campaigns, right? Where it shows on the in-stream and the discovery in feed ads, right? So that is ad sequencing guys, very simple process. You just need to go in the campaign and, and really identify the objectives that you're looking for. If you have any follow up questions, feel free to, to reach out to us. You know, we have the link below. And also if you're looking to work with us on creating some strategy around, you know, your product and offer for YouTube ads, then you can partner up with us. We'll have a link below so you can book a call with us and you know give you a strategy session and go from there. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications to get notified once we drop some more video advertising knowledge your way. We'll see you on the next one.